fair use. In US copyright law, the doctrine that brief excerpts of copyright material may, under certain circumstances, be quoted verbatim for purposes such as criticism, news reporting, teaching and research, without the need for permission from or payment to the copyright holder. In its most general sense, a fair use is any copying of copyrighted material done for a limited and transformative purpose, such as to comment upon, criticise or parody a copyrighted work. Such uses can be done without permission from the copyright owner. Oh, I'm sorry, I just... You know, clearly some people need to know what fair use is. So, this is a topic that, um... Is, isn't relevant anymore. <laughs> but you know what, I don't care, because this is happened to me and it's happened to a lot of people on the site and if you don't know what I'm talking about copyright claims uh, they don't work on YouTube and uh, people okay <laughs> copyright infringement a big issue on YouTube and a big issue in all media people are just taking advantage of that and really screwing over some content creators one of which being me hello I know right no one cares about me so why have I been affected by this well I'm gonna talk about it. So essentially what am I talking about? Well, on YouTube, there's this thing called the Content ID System. Essentially what this is, is that any copyrighted work, if somebody uploads something copyrighted, such as, I don't know, music or a film to YouTube or TV show, what it's meant to do <laughs> is detect that these things have been uploaded to the site and take them down or monetize them for the copyright owner. So the pe person who owns the actual copyright and the person who owns that material gets AdSense from that and the person who uploaded it illegally does not. There's also manual claims where, you know, if someone has used, for example, if someone re-uploaded my video and I didn't give them permission, then I could copyright claim it to where I would gain the revenue or I could block it or I could copyright strike it, which would mean that they would get one copyright strike out of three they're allowed in their channel. If they were to get three copyright strikes, the channel would be deleted. With one strike, I think they get certain things taken away from their channel that they're able to do. I'm not very good at explaining things, but essentially, it's a way for people who own things to not have them taken from them and to not have people make money from them legally. Now, what is fair use? Essentially, you're allowed to use someone's copyrighted material, such as a film or music or a TV show, and transform it in a way where you can use the footage from that show or you can use the instrumental from that music and change it in a way where you're still allowed to upload it to the site and you're still able to make money from it because as much as it is copyrighted material, you're using it in a way that it's changing it, it's transformative. And so it's not just ripping an episode of Family Guy and ping it online, which isn't allowed, even though YouTube probably promotes it a lot. You're using that Family Guy clip to commentate over or to review or to turn it into some weird YouTube poop thing. And so that is allowed to be on the site because it's fair use and legally it's not infringing copyright. Now what am I talking about? Why am I talking about this? Why am I of anyone talking about this? Well, you see some companies don't seem to know what fair use is. <laughs> It's ridiculous. So all over YouTube recently, people have been falsely copyright claiming or falsely taking down videos or whatever to people's videos. Sometimes it's where they've used their copyrighted material and they don't and they're not really understanding or they don't really care about fair use, so they copyright claim it anyway so they can make the money from it even though they are allowed to upload the video. Or they just copyright claim it because YouTube's copyright system is ridiculous and they will get no punishment for falsely copyright claiming these videos. The biggest example would be UMG, the Universal Music Group. There might have been Jacksepticeye, I don't know. Some YouTubers said a lyric from a song and Universal decided to copyright claim that video and get all the revenue from that. Think about that for a second, all right? So it's like a 20 minute video. Jack literally says a lyric, not even sings the entire song, which also would be fine because it's covering and covering does fall under fair use. He said a lyric from the song and Universal went, all that money's ours now. Even though it's a 20 minute video and you've done all this stuff in the video, that that's our money. Thank you, please. And they're allowed to do that. They can just get away with that because YouTube's copyright system is broken and it hasn't been fixed for many many years. Dan Bull made a song about this whole thing about you know Nerd Cubed getting copyrighted for his own logo and stuff like that and that came out many years ago I think about five years ago now. Nothing's really changed. Now I keep 
going around this. Why am I talking about this? Well, you see, if you're someone who is on my channel and you know, know about, knows about my channel, you'll know that I have a series called What Is Wrong With Our Childhood, where essentially me and my two friends Jack and Cameron watch a film from our childhood. The three we've done so far are Flushed Away, Robots, and Shark Boy and Lava Girl. The recording is literally just us watching the film and having a microphone and talking over it and commenting over it, making jokes, doing blah 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 blah. Then I go into editing and I cut the film up into tons of pieces so it only has the bits that we're talking over it. The film is zoomed out. Now that is fair use because we're not uploading the entire film to YouTube, which doing it transformative because no one can enjoy that film the same as they can enjoy our video on it. Our video is literally the film's audio being very low and us talking over it, which we get a lot of criticism for. <laughs> and why am I bringing this up? Well, you see, uh, our flushed away one used to be my most popular video on my channel. It was up for, I don't know, I want to say a year. And DreamWorks, that's banned. They banned the video. So not only did they copyright claim the video, which I would have been fine with because I don't earn revenue anyway from it, but they took down the video everywhere except for Canada and the US. Why? F knows. <laughs> like, they didn't even take it down worldwide. They left it in Canada and the USA. So, great. If you're from America, you can watch that video. Um, brilliant. Cool. Anyone else, though? You're on your f***ing own. It's so stupid because, again, this, this video is fair use and it doesn't need to be taken down. And proof that it is fair use is because the Shark Boy and Lava Girl one we did which was a year later, that got taken down immediately because of the content ID system, which I said. So that happened to my video, to the Shark One Lava Girl video. Again, it was cut up, it's just us commentating over it. The video's like 50 minutes and the film's like an hour and a half, so that just shows how much of the film I've cut out of it. And that's not just a big chunk, that's little bits all over. I disputed the claim, I have a whole paragraph that I got from H3H3 a while ago. I've been pasted that paragraph, it's like an official legal statement about why this video is fair use and why it can be up. Within hours, the company that made Shark One Lava Girl went, yep, that, that's, yep, good point, that's fair use, and the video was released, and that video has been fine since. Again, happened with robots. The robots one also got taken down, but once they saw it, they let it go up. Now you might be saying, okay then, Will, just dispute the claim for the flushed away one then, because, you know, that might just be the same thing, might just be content ID. But no, it was a manual claim. So that means that someone over at DreamWorks, someone in the copyright booth, came over to my video, and when, yep, okay, we can see what this video is, we can see how it, how it is, how it's shorter than our film, how it's cut up. Uh, yeah. Um, let's block that. Let's just choose, let's just choose to block that, because, you know, wh why, why not? So dispute it. I did dispute it. I disputed it as soon as the claim came up. And, um, they rejected it. They rejected the dispute. So not only has someone manually seen my video, and taken it down everywhere over at DreamWorks, took it down and said this is copyright infringement, which it isn't. Also, someone else, once I asked for it to be manually reviewed, I disputed the claim. Someone else manually watched that video and decided, no, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep that down. Oh, it's ridiculous because I put so much effort into that video. Now you can dispute the video again. However, the risk is nowhere near the reward. In order for me to dispute the rejected claim, I will have to give them my full address and all these personal details about me and say I'm very confident this is fair use, which I am. But if they if they are to reject the dispute again, which is very likely they will do, considering they've already seen the video twice and rejected it, I. I mean, a lot of... <laughs> I will be in severe risk of getting a copyright strike, which, like I said, can affect my channel, can affect what I do on my channel, and also risk the video being taken down from YouTube entirely. And because I'm a small creator, I'm just kind of here, just like, cool, just walk all over me then, because I can't do anything. Like, it's I, I really don't want to risk disputing it again, because I know that there's a 99% chance they will say no again, and the video will be taken down everywhere, not just Canada and the US. I really don't see why they took it down either, because it's not like I'm some huge YouTuber that the video is getting tons of views on. The video had about 2.5 thousand views at the time it was um, taken down, which is a lot for me. But for DreamWorks, I really don't see. I really don't see what they're gaining from this. I honestly don't get it. If I ever do another What's Wrong with Our Childhood, we will not be watching DreamWorks films. 
because I can't be asked to put all that effort into a video and then it get taken down again. Now there's gonna be people saying, oh, but you use the film and you upload you watching the film and so it's blah, blah, blah. I am 100%, I will bet anything on this, 100% certain that video falls underneath transformative and falls underneath fair use. One, because the two other ones that got uploaded, you know, the two other films got uploaded, once they were in manual review, the, the company said, yep, that's fine, it's able to go up. Also, the video is zoomed out, the video is cut to absolute shit, there's me, Cameron and Jack talking over it throughout. There is no way, <laughs> in logical sense, that anyone could watch the Flushed Away movie and then watch our video on it and get the same enjoyment out of the two. There's absolutely no way. They would like the Flushed Away more or they would like our video more, but there was no way they will enjoy it in the exact same way because they are simply not the same things. It's kind of like if you watch a song and then watch Bart Baker's parody on the song. You cannot enjoy them in the same way. Bart Baker's parody is using the copyright material of the original song, but there is no way you can enjoy them both the same way. This isn't the only video that I've had falsely claimed. I haven't had any of other ones taken down. Oh no, that is a lie. I had, uh, <laughs> for some reason, Bad Babies, uh, you know, Bad Baby Daniel Bagoli, the Cash me I said. Web, Jesus Christ. Her record label, like, for some reason, like, was going through videos about them, I'm guessing. I had my, the part one video where I watched, was it part? The part two video, sorry, on, my, on the main channel, where I watched one of her songs, that was taken down, and that was taken down worldwide. And then, once I disputed it, later that night, the version on my second channel, which is both parts in one, that was also taken down. I disputed both of them, and the day you went by that the dispute should have been handled by, and I got no email. But then when I went to go check the uh, the claims again, they were gone. I don't know what happened. I don't know if there was like a rogue employee over the, the record label. They copyright claimed it, and then they just took the claim away without, you know, responding to this sort of dispute. Again, that is fair use because it is review. I've also got quite a lot of other uh, videos that have been claimed unfairly. All right, copyright notices. Let's get ready to look at the behemoth of the amounts that I have here. <laughs> the ones which I would say are unfairly claimed. I had the rice gum video that I made, you know, the rice gum odd ones out video. That was claimed originally by uh, full screen, which is rice gums network. It's ridiculous the claim. So essentially they wanted the, the money from the video. They wanted to monetize the video. The amount of views that video got was 40. So they would, they would have got tuppence from it. So I don't understand why they did it. But also, the claim just doesn't make sense because one, I was using his video in a transformative way. Again, I was cutting it, I was talking over it. But also, the hypocrisy is insane because the video I was using of Rice Gum was his video where he was responding to Odd Ones Out's video in the exact same way that I was responding to Rice Gums. And guess what? Oh, Rice Gums' video was monetized because the Odd Ones Out's network didn't claim it. I wonder why, because it's fair use, you piece of shit. The hypocrisy is just incredible. Rice Gum, Jesus Christ. And that's why I've got two versions of uh, the Rice Gum video on my channel, because um, I've got one which I just had to private and never upload because I got the claim. I had to zoom out the um, the Rice Gum footage and put like a, you know, a crop, like a kind of border around it. Because then what I do on my second channel is I upload failed edits, which is just like, you know, a video an edit that I failed the first time around. It's not a hard concept. And I uploaded the version which got taken down, which, um, you know, well, not got taken down, but the one I never uploaded. And I disputed it on the second channel just to see what they'd say. And, yep, manual claim. You, no, 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 that's, that's, it's not fair use. Honestly, man, Jesus Christ. Watching the 10 most disliked videos on YouTube. Uh, I got a copyright claim from, uh, can you guess? There's a lot of songs that came up in that video. Uh, but can you guess which one copyright claimed it? That's right, it's your girl, Rebecca. Hack. Now, this is ridiculous because I would say out of all the songs I used in this video, this was the song that I cut up the most and the one I least expected to get copyright claims. Claiming Rebecca Black Inc. Channel Rebecca and monetized by copyright owner. There was no restrictions, I just wanted the, the money from the video. Again, there'll be no money to get, but there you go. And I disputed it and they were like, oh no, it's, it's still a justified claim. You can tell like her network are trying to cling on to any money they can get because they know that no one cares about Rebecca. Okay, that's really cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, no one listens to her songs anymore, really, and that song is, like, the, the biggest thing she's ever done, and so they're just claiming anything that has that song in, because they're trying to get any of the money from that song they can, any royalties from that money they can. 
completely ignoring fair use and it's it's awful. This video has become a lot longer than I expected it to be. Like I've been recording for like 24 minutes now and it's only meant to be like a 10 minute video. So I'm sorry about that. Now for anyone wondering, who, anyone who wants to see the Flushed Away video who lives outside the US and Canada, what I will be doing, because I attempted to upload it to my second channel and kind of like flip the footage. So I thought maybe that would work, but that got immediately clocked and blocked worldwide this time. So, so the film zoomed out, but the right way, blocked everywhere but the US and Canada, but flipped so it's even less, like, even less accurate than the original one. That's blocked worldwide. Brilliant. Thank, thank you, DreamWorks. Christ almighty. But anyone who does want to watch that video, I will be uploading it to Dailymotion, I guess. I, it will be done by the time this video is up, and it'll be, you can go check out in the link in the description if you really want to see it. But um, I'd, I guess daily motion because I don't know where else I'd put it. Like Vimeo, maybe. But I don't know. I'll I'll see what I'll see what site I can work. That'll probably be the only one on there, unless then if one of my videos gets unjustifiably taken down. Because none of the other ones have really been taken down yet, other than like, like I said, the bad baby one, which they immediately retracted because they realised what idiots they were being. That's all this video really. What 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 is the point of this? Uh, just to kind of show that the copyright system on YouTube is broken as all hell, and that it's been broken for so many years. It's ridiculous. So when they can fix it, I don't know. If they can fix it, I don't know because it's such like a weird situation because they have to have the content ID thing in order to be able to run the site because the way YouTube gets away with running their site is that they don't know everything that's uploaded to the site. So they can't take responsibility for if someone uploads a film, for example, because there's so much stuff uploaded to the site that they physically can't know, even though, yes, they do keep pushing the Family Guy streams, which I have already made a video on, give me views. <laughs> but with this whole Article 13 thing that's going through, where the people who voted for it pressed the wrong button, so if <laughs> It's changing, and so now YouTube has to take full responsibility for everything that's uploaded to the site, even though, as I stated, they can't physically know everything that's uploaded to the site. I don't know, it's... Uh... Yeah, there you go, even people as insignificant as me get copyright claimed falsely, and get copy striped. Can we copy strike glitch gameplay? <laughs> yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I wish it gets fixed, but you know, YouTube, I, I can't see YouTube fixing it. They've got, I don't know, I don't understand. <laughs> YouTube like are now trying to do something with the sub gap, or the sub count, sorry. So instead of saying 28,280 or something, it just says 28K. So it, I don't know why, no one wants it. They're trying to put social bait out of business essentially by doing that. And they're just completely ignoring all the problems of monetization and like the false copyright system and all that, just completely ignoring that, but going, hey guys, how about we have letters instead of numbers? I love you, YouTube, you know exactly what we want. I know video's been a bit iffy recently, um, I don't know when this is gonna go up, maybe after my exams, but I have been in the middle of exams. I'm only recording this right now because it's the half term and so I've got a week break. I should be revising really, um, but there you go, YouTube is ruining my life. <laughs> uh, it's not real. I'm joking. I love you. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe to me if you are new um, and want to see my new content. Thank you to all the support recently. It's been incredible. I've never had this amount of support in terms of views and subs and all that kind of stuff. I know I'm not trying to concentrate too much on numbers, which I'm not, but it's still incredible to see all the people coming to me since the video's been blowing up and it's it's so weird. I'm really happy with it. So thank you for everyone who's been subscribing. I hope you stick around and enjoy the content. And I'll see you guys next video ever I make. On daily motion. Daily motion uploads, guys. Can we hit a F in chat? What was wrong with me? Thanks for watching. Thank you to your friends and Goodbye. This is the winter of our discontent, where Google gives consent for you to nick content. From YouTubers to CUNY to put up a defense, that glued stuck in cement, it's too tough to prevent. This is the winter of our discontent, copyright trolls roll up and we are stiffed on rent. This is the winter of our discontent, ideally you give back every stolen cent.